Mmm. I'm hungry. Just waiting for the car to cool down. Once it cools down, then I can get back to work. Alrighty. Um, I'm not going to show the next step because it's exactly what I just did. So, I'm just going to repeat that process and I'll we'll go right to uh, the part where I start filling it with antifreeze. So, here we go. Well, I'm doing the final flush. I'll let it, my car cool down again. Um, I'm noticing something. I'm noticing my fans aren't coming on. So it gets up to temperature. I haven't drove it around or anything, so maybe it comes on when you drive around. But my fans haven't come on. And I checked my uh, my fuses. I checked my fuses. And they all seem to be good. The only one, there's only one bad one that was inside here that was a bad fuse. It kind of looked like it was kind of cracked, you know, where the metal, it connects the metal inside the fuse. It looked like it had a little crack on it, so I replaced it to see if it'll work. And I didn't start my car yet to try it, but it seems to be the fans aren't working. <clears throat> so I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what I should do next about the fans. Um, once I get it all filled up, put the actual coolant back in instead of distilled water. I'll test drive it around, see if the fans come on, see if that fixes it. But I wonder if that's what it is, the fans aren't coming on. I'm not sure. But darkness, my friend. Sorry. So what I'm going to do next is let it drain. Let's distill the water. The final flush is getting, you know, flushed out. And then I'm going to add the antifreeze and the purple stuff, royal purple stuff that's supposed to help cool my engine down. And it's like a conditioner. It like helps, you know, condition my engine. So I'll do all that and go for a test drive and see how it runs see how the temperatures work. So I'll go from there. Alrighty guys, so I just added some of this to the car. I put some, a little bit in here and there, and then I put the rest inside here. So it gives it like, you know, gives it some circulation. Um, supposedly this stuff's supposed to like, see it says right there, cooling system optimizer and conditioner so it's only stuff I could find at the auto parts store so and now we're gonna add the antifreeze the Subaru brand antifreeze and it's almost done pretty much this stuff right here 50 50 super coolant they had a long life one but I talked to a friend and he told me to use this stuff instead. So he says it's better and it works better and it's meant for meant for my car. So here we go. It shouldn't be full yet. Here's a burp. Here's a burp. There's one. Keep doing that. There we go. Someone told me also to shake my car around, like move it. It's not going to move because it's on stands. There we go. It's burping now. There we go. Spitting at me.
let the bubbles get out of there. I'm gonna burp it a few times. I see it draining really slowly. You want all the air out of it. That's kind of that's the only tricky part. I'm trying to get all the air out. It's weird. I didn't do this with the water. This stuff must be like different or something. With the water, I just poured in and it just went right in real quick. This is taking a while. I squeezed, I squeezed it too. I want this thing to hurry up. Should at least take at least one and a half of these. I'm gonna start my car here in a minute. First, the heater was like cold. It was weird, and then I looked it up. What it what it is is there's bubbles inside the system, and so what I did is I kept filling it up, and that would rev my engine to circulate the stuff. And now it's really hot. Now it's getting really. It's like whew. It's supposed to be 75 today, and I'm like, you know, it's like 80. And see, the temperature is normal. That's where it's supposed to be. Uh, I got the heater going at 85. 
so hopefully everything seems to be going okay right now go back out here I filled that up I put some liquid in there and that has it gone down I don't know, is that normal to see like little tiny bubbles coming up? I can't tell if it's done or not. Is that normal? I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments if that's normal. To see little tiny little bubbles. I'm hoping that my head gasket isn't gone. If it is, then this car is it's sad. I love this car. I want to keep it going. All right, let's go for a drive. All right, guys. We're going to go for a little test drive. See how it drives. See if the heat goes up and down. I'm going to close the sunroof. It's going to be kind of loud. Okay, let's go for a little drive. See how this thing puppy drives. The microphone's swinging around. go I'm hoping the fan turns on Warm in these rhinos.
dude. People are dumb. Check my fan. Yeah, the fan was still going on. Or the fan, the fan was still going. The fan wasn't going on. So it's, I think it's my fan. see no I'm gonna try driving it around a couple times next week and see I'm gonna look it up I'm gonna research about the fan till next time guys hope thank you for watching well, hopefully you enjoyed this video I don't know how long I'm gonna try to make it short I don't want you know there's many videos out there about this but thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this and till next time guys well this a little update um, the fans are working. I tried turning on my AC and the fans are on. Then I turned my AC off and the fans were still going. So the fans work. So hopefully this works. You know, I don't know what's going on with my car, why it's overheated like that. So I'm just hoping that it's not a head gasket issue. You know, that would suck. I don't want this car to die. But that's the update. The fans work. Thanks for watching. Looks like the coolant's doing good. I forgot I had this little scanner that I have that tells me the temp. Looks like it's about, see now it's 196. It's in between 196. It looks like the thermostat's starting to work now. It usually stays about 199. I've seen it, the highest I've seen it go was like 202. I'm trying to rev in my engine. <laughs> pop pop. Two or three. So it looks like it's doing good. I can go check to see if the fan's going. This is the next day, by the way. Uh, come on. I know it's heavy. Yeah, the fans are going tight. See, the fans work. I'm going to pop my hood up. Turn the light on. Yeah. The fans are going. Now they're stopping. 
so the fans work so that's good so yeah that's my car seems to be running good now hopefully this did the trick thanks for watching guys and till next time peanut butter jelly time <laughs> who likes peanut butter and jelly <laughs> see if I can do this without spilling <laughs>